Today we are talking to women who are breaking barriers, taking charge of everything they do, and defining themselves not by the difficult days, but what they've learned to persevere through on those challenging days. I am back with award-winning journalist and former ESPN co-anchor Jamel Hill, who just released her brilliant memoir, Uphill, a memoir. So finally we get to the good stuff. We like talking about <laughs> love around here, not just hard times. And that's something you told me over our dinner. So often of the, much of the journey is the trials and tribulations, that people don't get to see us smile, they don't get to see us be happy. And you met Mr. Happy in what year? <laughs> 2014. 2014. <laughs> um, you married in 2019 in California, music soul child surprised you. Yes, sing at, at our wedding. Yeah, to sing at your wedding. I want to play a little audio clip from your book of how you describe your love. We were dating for almost a year before I told him I loved him. I waited until I was absolutely certain about how I felt. I had been in four serious relationships in my life, and I was tired of getting it wrong. I wanted a real partner, someone who made me feel emotionally safe. Ian gave me these feelings more than anyone I'd ever dated. <laughs> wow. Tam fam, are you ready to meet the man that made her feel emotionally safe? Let's bring out Ian Wallace. Come on out, Ian. to bring it out flowers. <laughs> I know. Look. I know your favorites weren't on. These are my favorite flowers. Oh, they, are? they look like peonies. Oh, they're beautiful. These are my favorite flowers of flowers that are given to me. Thank <laughs> you. While I can smile, I smell them. Okay, how did you make her feel safe? Because that clip, it's just my heart. I think so many people understand that. You go through relationships and things don't work out and then you find someone that makes you feel safe. Just, I guess, being myself, you know, talking with her, um, having conversations, and really just getting to know her, and being in that safe space where she could bounce things off of me, tell me how she really feels, things that she probably couldn't do with other people. Well, the one thing that I loved about him is that he is very communicative, yeah. right? And if he feels it, he says it. And he was willing to make himself vulnerable. Sometimes, you know, you're with somebody who has the qualities you lack. And so vulnerability as a, you know, <laughs> despite all that I shared in this book, writing about my vulnerability is much different than speaking them for me. That's easy to do. This is much harder for me. And so um, through his own uh, um, ability to be vulnerable, that made me want to be that for him. How did he propose? Because I saw all of it on Instagram. <laughs> I was like trying to get the timeline going here. And suddenly I see you, I think it was on a boat somewhere. I'm like, what is going oh, on? It was a helicopter. It was a helicopter. You knew they were in a helicopter. <laughs> yes. How did you propose? I had to trick her. I told her that I found a coupon for a <laughs> helicopter ride. <laughs> <laughs> so we could see LA. You know, it's a different way to see LA. And it. we got up there and she was on her phone a lot. And I'm like, you know, put the phone down. Let's just enjoy the moment. And we landed on a building. Okay. And I told her, I was like, do you see that? And she's looking, she's looking. And that's when I got on one knee and proposed. Oh. <laughs> What, what did you just, did, were you expecting it? Were you suspicious? No, I was not suspicious. I was completely shocked. I mean, we had just moved to LA. Uh, and, and just for a little more context, we were long distance until we right. moved in together, yeah. right? So we started dating in 2014. We moved to LA in 2018. And I thought, you know, we probably need a little time to settle in and get used to a different kind of mode in our relationship. And two months after, we moved in together, he proposed. <laughs> I love it. You're so beautiful together. I love it. So I know that you are both traveling. I mentioned, well, not the coupon helicopter. That doesn't count. <laughs> he did not have a coupon. <laughs> <tail>. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking my like, man is Don't shake my man. Either. Coupon's okay. But you travel a lot, and this has now turned into this new adventure where you're sharing your vacations with the world. Correct. Uh, we started doing a series on YouTube called Conversations on Vacation yeah. because when we're in that mode and we've been to, I don't know. 38 I'm, countries because I've been counting and stalking. <laughs> uh, let me play a clip from the <laughs> Conversations on Vacation. Let's take a look. So the man 
usually drives right. when a couple goes somewhere. Mm -hmm. But we moved in together. We were living together. Jamel never let me drive. I had a company car. I had a Camry. She would never let me drive because her car, she had a luxury car. She didn't want to be seen in a Camry. I was that, offended. That is not true about me not wanting to be seen. I just felt like my car had like more room, more amenities. It was just me. <laughs> There is nothing wrong with a coupon or Camry. So there you go, Ian. <laughs> what is it like working together? Well, I think it's, it's awesome. And it, this was his idea. And we, we, it just was born from the fact that when we were on vacation, we always get into these really fun, sometimes deep conversations. Yeah. And that conversation was about gender roles. Like, yeah. you know, who winds up praying in the house, who winds up on the grill, driving, these kinds of things that you just slide into these gender roles sometimes. Yeah, and it's great to have an audience because I typically win the discussion. Oh, I just God. need a judge. I need, okay, I need bridge too far, <laughs> Ian. Bridge too far. You know the truth. Well, I am so happy to see you smile and shine. And I told you in the note I wrote you, you proved that the uphill goes up. And that's what is important. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. Jamil and Ian, thank you so much. Okay, so be sure you must get this book. Jamil Hill's book, Uphill, a memoir. It is available now. Go get it online. Run wherever you need to go, local bookstore. But guess what? You guys don't have to go anywhere. The entire audience is going home with a copy of this beautiful journey lived.